as promised, final week of the season. Is Shohei Otani actually the MVP? And some crazy comparisons to, yes, of course, Babe Ruth. Let's do a little digging in to start the program. We've been talking about this for a few years, but the pie-in-the-sky goal for Shohei Otani is not just Babe Ruth, but Babe Ruth 1918 and Babe Ruth 1919. Those were the only two years while the, where the Bambino was pitching and hitting at the same time. And I have to say, the comparison is incredible. In 1919, Babe Ruth was the best hitter in the American League and also threw 133 quality innings. 102 years later, Shohei Otani was just about the best hitter in the American League and threw 130 quality innings. How about that? Ruth had a 2.97 ERA. Otani, after another excellent outing this weekend, is at 3.18. But when you make the adjustment for the run scoring of that season, Otani is 40% better than league average. Babe Ruth was only 2% better most of the league American League 1919 they were throwing a three ERA back then it's more difficult now oh, but now to hitting Otani is first or second in most of the major hitting categories has an OPS plus of 158 but Babe Ruth was the league leader in most every category and had a mammoth OPS plus of 217 that's apples to apples by the way that is run scoring environments taking into account 217 to 158 Ruth had a 456 on base slugging 657 now Otani out homers Ruth 45 to 29 but remember 29 home runs at the time was the all time single season record if you're wondering about their total war Ruth finished at 9.9 .9. you can see in just the last column there on the bottom Otani is at eight is at nine now oh, he went up to he has 9.0 uh, you know look, DHing is the difference for Otani war is an approximation of production I wouldn't get caught up in small differences they're very close there are even more similarities between that Ruth season and this year's Otani season. In 1919, Babe Ruth only started three games in August and September. Three games, that's it. And when he did that, his hitting made a big leap. He was already excellent, of course, but he was what we would later call Ruthian over the second half. His slugging jumped 90 points when he became a full-time hitter, pointing out it is hard to hit and pitch at a high level at the exact same time. Even look at Shohei Otani. I simplified it to the first half, second half, but it holds up in smaller increments too. I could do that, but we're on TV. We've got to move fast. In the first half, he slugged near 700, had a 3.49 ERA. Second half, good numbers, but not great. Now look, he had a 2.84 ERA in the second half. And I know a lot of that difference is that one disastrous start that he had against the Yankees just before the All-Star break. But look at the strikeouts and walks. Otani regained his pitching dominance over the second half. 69 strikeouts, only nine walks. Again, different player. He was a great hitter, then he was a great pitcher. Not quite at the same time. When you compare to Babe Ruth to anybody at any season and it holds up, you're at a high level. But this is what Ruth did that truly made him the greatest baseball player in history. And Shohei Otani, as a much more sophisticated and competitive game, is actually having a Babe Ruth 1919 season. Remarkable. Next question Is Otani the MVP? Vladimir Guerrero is, in some ways, out hitting Otani. A debate seems to be springing up. You heard Mad Dog. But I'll answer the question in one word. Yes, Shohei Otani is the MVP. I'll do much more on this and dig deeper in the coming weeks, but I'll bottom line it for you. Here's run expectancy and win probability, the two major clutch stats. How much run expectancy do you add to your team in the batter pitcher matchup, and how much do you swing the probability of your team winning with your results? As you can see, this is hitting now, right? This is what you'll find in the leaderboards. Guerrero has a slight edge in run expectancy. Otani is second. Otani, though, is way up, though, in win probability. He's number one. So you could say it's close, but maybe Shohei Otani was the better hitter. However, that's just hitting. Here it is when you combine Otani's hitting and pitching. Pitching's important, by the way. Now, Otani is way ahead in run expectancy, way ahead in win probability. It is not 71 to 50, 7 to 3. You don't even have to know the scale to realize those are huge leads. It's not close. Shohei Otani is Babe Ruth 1919, and he is and was the most valuable player in this league this year. The panel joins us 